Hello everyone, this is Kai Carden from PM Studios. I am assuming you have reached this video because you have 100% finished my entire video tutorial series on Java programming. It is the very basics. So this I meant to mention somewhere along the line in the tutorial series, but it never really worked its way in. So I'm going to go over it right now. Basically what I wanted to show you guys is an interesting and useful utility to brand new beginning programmers who might not be able to wrap their head around most of the... Uh, the fundamental information of the Java programming language from my tutorial series where you do have your head wrapped around it and don't think you can just uh, implement it as good as you'd like to and you want to put in some practical practice practice of those fundamental uh, fundamental items without having to think of different types of programs that you could do by yourself <coughs> Excuse me. So the website that I wanted to bring up to you guys today is a website called codingbat.com, C O D I N G B A T dot com that will be in the uh the description. Basically what codingbat is is it's a website that was originally started as a website called javabat.com which was a practice website developed by a university professor to help his uh computer science students practice on the very basic fundamentals of Java as I've stated before. It has become a widespread, widely used um, website for pr uh, practical practice within different programming classes all through high schools and uh, universities alike. I know several high schools and universities that use it as it stands. Um, there are a few that haven't used it, so if you are in a programming class that goes over Java or Python and your teacher has not introduced you to this website, you might want to introduce him or her to it so that they can use it because it is a fantastic utility. <coughs> Anyways, moving on, uh, since this is going to be based off of the Java programming series, I do want you to go into the Java section instead of the Python section. Um, you can go into the Python section and learn Python, or at least the very basics of Python yourself through that. But as for this website, web series, I'm just going to be going over Java, as you can expect. Um, so basically what you're going to do is when you come in here, you're going to be greeted with this screen right here, and it's going to have all of the different types of exercises you can do. Um, there's warm-ups, exercises for strings, arrays, logic, which is if and else statements and the use of uh, comparison operators, um, more strings, and AP, pro AP problems, which is more for like people who are in programming classes and want some difficult and challenging problems. Um, they, he says right here that they're medium grade problems, um, but for the very basic beginner they will provide a significant amount of challenge. And then something we didn't go over, which I would consider to be in the intermediate scale of um, Java programming, which is recursion. Um, I won't be going too much into that. I might create a new, another series for intermediate Java programming that includes recursion as well, but as for now we're just going to leave that where it is. So, you would log in here so you can keep track of your progress. Each of these stars represents three exercises. So you can tell here, for instance, this one has five stars, so that's going to have... Um, this is going to have 15 exercises, and you can count them by yourself. Or you can go one, two, three, three across, five down, that's 15 exercises. But I'm going to go ahead and do one from Logic 1, which is, again, just the basics... Um, the basics of... Uh, if and else statements, which all of you should be relatively familiar with. So let's go ahead and do one. Uh, let's do answer call or answer cell. All right, so you'll see that inside the problems, it's going to give you a prompt. Like for instance, your cell phone ring rings. Return true if you should answer it. Normally, you answer except in the mornings. You only answer it if your mom is calling. In all cases, if you are asleep, you do not answer. So, I can already tell you that all this can be done with a simple if and else statement with one else if parameter. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to knock out the most likely cause uh, that we'll run into, which is that you are asleep. So, is asleep equals equals true. And then we're going to create our uh, braces here, if I can get the right one. And then we're going to do return false. And please keep in mind that the tab does not work inside this website. If you want to uh, indent all of your work um, just to keep it in this readable format, you're going to need to double space everything. So just space, space, and there you go. That's the normal tabbing procedures for uh, Java programming anyways. So then we're going to do an else if. And we do is morning equals equals true. 
and it's the double amber sand signs is mom equals true and is asleep equals equals false if I could spell false right or is morning equals false and is mom equals false and is asleep equals false or is mom equals true so basically what I did in that massive if statement is I outlined every single possibility that um, that could possibly yield a true answer inside the one if statement which saves space um, in your coding and maybe it makes it a little bit easier to read for people because they don't have to keep wading through nested statements within nested statements within nested statements. So basically what we're saying is if it, if it's morning and your mom is calling and you're not asleep or if it's not morning and your mom is not calling and you're not asleep or if it's your mom in general then we're going to return true for all of those statements and then finally the else uh, if it's any other case return false because we've already gone over we've already outlined every possible aspect that is within the um within the description here so it says regardless of what happens if you're asleep you don't answer if you're asleep you don't answer um, all of these other things if it's morning and your mom is calling you answer it if it's not morning and your mom is not calling and it's just somebody else and you're not asleep then you answer it anyways and regardless of what time of day it is if it's your mom then you answer so that would be the entire uh, entire program here and we can just hit go and as you can see see I put a space here and that's not what you want so we can hit go again and obviously it ran everything perfectly fine and it'll even tell you in the test cases um, that all the different actions so you can see there's three boolean methods here um, is morning is mom and is asleep and it'll tell you what it's plugging in for all three of them so false false and false and it tells you exactly what it should be so it's supposed to return true and this is return true so it goes okay and it goes green. Now let's say we hit return true for this one. And then we ran it one more time. You see that when it doesn't work, it returns an X. And the option is red. Um, a lot of the times it won't tell you exactly what you're doing, or exactly what you're doing wrong, which is good, because the number one hand-in-hand -hand skill for programming is the ability to problem solve with it. So the part of the difficulty with solving these problems when you run into speed bumps is trying to think of exactly what you did wrong and think it through your head or on a piece of paper or whatever works best for you and try to figure it out by yourself. So anyways, this is the website that I would strongly recommend to anybody who's interested in continuing further in Java than what my, uh, what my programming lessons showed, because this is absolutely a very useful utility in, in terms of what you can do with it and how much further you can sharpen your skills and hone them down into a fine-tuned machine. So again, that is codingbat.com, and then you just click on the Java section, and that will take you into the Java workouts. You can go ahead and sign in. Accounts are free to create, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they are. Accounts are free to create. Um, if you're in a class, you know, your teacher will have you create an account and then uh, attach the account to, to him or her so that she can monitor your progress, something along those lines. But either way, this is a very, very useful website, and I strongly recommend anyone who wants to go further to use it. That's all for this tutorial series. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.